All right, so after we finish our end cab, doing our light inspection on the outside, we're gonna come to the front of our truck and our engine compartment, starting with the front of our truck. We're gonna come to the front of our truck, make sure it's not leaning or shifted to any side. We're gonna make sure we have no leaks up under the hood. Make sure we don't see any coolant, no coolant, no engine oil, anything of that nature. And then we're gonna check our overall lights, lenses, and covers. We're gonna make sure they're not cracked, cracked or broken. Make sure they're clean and the proper color. Then after that, we'll check up under our hood. We're gonna pop our hood for the engine compartment. Pop that side. We're gonna pop this side. Then we'll say clear. Open up our hood. Then we'll come up under our hood. We're gonna first observe our coolant reservoir, our power stern reservoir. Make sure both caps are hand tight. Make sure it's not leaking. Make sure it's filled to the proper level. Make sure all the hoses and everything coming from that have no visible leaks. They're not cut or torn. All right. Then we're gonna look on the ground up under here. Make sure we don't have any engine oil, any, any transmission fluid leaking. Then we're gonna come to our power stirring box. It's proper matter that's secured. It's not leaking, it's not cracked or broken. And then we're gonna check all the hoses and fittings, make sure all the steering hoses are not cracked or worn. Then we're gonna to come to our steering linkage, steering links, arms, and rods. All right here, up the steering linkage. We're gonna make sure they all are not worn or cracked. Make sure all the nuts, carter keys, and bolts are all in proper place and not missing. Then we're gonna to come to our suspension. We're gonna to come to our leaf spring mounts. Make sure they're not cracked or broken. Make sure all hardware is present tight, they're not missing. We're gonna make sure our leaf springs are properly aligned. Make sure they're not, they're not missing, no cracked parts. Then we're gonna to go to our shock absorber. Make sure it's not cracked, I have no missing parts, no, no leakage. Then we're gonna to come to our brake lines. Our brake lines are right here. Make sure they're not cracked or worn or frayed. Make sure all the fittings and connections are properly mounted and secured and they're not leaking. Then we'll come to our brake contaminants, which will be our brake drum and brake lining. We're gonna make sure they're not cracked, been or broken, no free of any dirt, oil, or grease. Then we'll come to our steer tires. Our steer tires, we're gonna make sure they're properly inflated using a truck tire gauge. We're gonna make sure our valve stem is in proper condition. Make sure the cap is hand tight, not leaking. We're gonna make sure there's no cuts or damage goes to the tread on the inner, upper, and outer wall. We're gonna make sure our tread depth is four thirty seconds of an inch. Then we're gonna to come to our rim. We're gonna make sure our rim is not cracked or bent. Then we're gonna to come to our lug nuts. We're gonna make sure our lug nuts are all present. They're not loose, no rust trails, no shiny threads, or showing any looseness or missing studs. Mo missing or broken studs, I'm sorry. So that, that will be it for our engine compartment. And we'll move on to the side of the truck.